everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. On this channel we talk about fragrances and today's video is about signature or everyday perfumes for women. These are the fragrances that you'll reach out for the most throughout the year. They can be used in lots of different occasions so you'll get so much use out of these fragrances. Let's get straight into it. Danger, Essence de Parfum. Now, Danger is part of a wider collection of fragrances that have just been released by the brand, which I'm fortunate enough to have received. So thank you so much for sending these fragrances to me. But essentially, these new perfumes are lighter and fresher takes on some of the original fragrances within Roja. This is a fragrance that is reminiscent of those gorgeous vintage perfumes like Chanel No. 5, those that have really sensual florals, with some musk, some aldehydes, giving it that vintage feel. So when you spray this perfume, you're going to get a sparkling and luminous opening with citruses, but immediately you're gonna get a lot of fleshy florals, mainly composed of rose, jasmine, and ylang ylang. Danger essentially smells like a Parisian woman. An air of nonchalance, full of character, ultra feminine, alluring, and chic. This is a perfume that is fun, flirty, and very girly. It is Delina by Parfum de Marly. This is your floral fruity fragrance that is a very safe buy for those of you who are entering in the niche segment for the first time. What is so special about Delina? Delina smells as if you had received a beautiful bouquet of pink and cream roses and peonies. Now, instead of getting a chocolate box, you'll be receiving a luxurious box of rose-infused Turkish delight. That is what Delina smells like. She's feminine, very carefree, and is a jaw dropper. Men go gaga for Delina. Parisian musk. This is a cocooning, fig, milky, musky scent. It is delicious, it is soft but strong. If you are a fan of Philosikos by Diptyque, like I am, you will adore Parisian musk because Parisian musk really reminds me of Philosikos. However, it is less green, less milky, and less sweet than Philosikos, but also it tends to last longer and feels a little bit stronger in terms of projection. So overall, it is a more rounded version, I would say, of Philosikos, and not as beachy and summery, which makes Parisian musk great to wear all year round. So imagine you are bathing in a really milky bath. Think Cleopatra style, like a milk bath infused with the aromas of fig and some delicate musks. It is luxurious, it's indulgent, and really relaxing. That is what Parisian musk is about. everyone wants to smell super strong and opulent all the time. Sometimes you want a fragrance that is just chilled, you know, something that is a little bit more casual, that is light and that delicately perfumes the skin. And I would recommend within that realm of fragrances, Voile de Lune by Azaleo. Azaleo is another new fragrance brand that was created by well-known fashion and lifestyle blogger Soraya Bakita. Now Voile de Lune is for those of you who are fans of fragrances like not a Perfume, The Original or Superdose by Juliet Has a Gun, Molecule 2 by Eccentric Molecules, or even Mojave Ghost by Byredo. So all of these fragrances are sort of the ones that are like clean skin, but better. So think of Voile de Lune as like the take on fragrance for no makeup makeup, if that makes sense. So it is a super casual fragrance that is, yeah, just no fuss, easy to wear. You're definitely gonna get 
some musky elements, very clean and soft, as well as some floral undertones. I believe there could be some like jasmine petal effect, something that is very transparent and watery. And you have some light woody undertones as well that are reminiscent of ISO E Super. So like think Molecule One by Centric Molecules. The projection isn't beast mode. Definitely not. This is a fragrance that will stay closer to your skin. And with regards to longevity, it's decent. I would say it's around like the seven to eight hour mark. If you like softer fragrances, try out Voile de Lune by Azaleo. A super duper sexy, very sensual, everyday fragrance for women. Oud Violet Intense by Fragrance du Bois. This is a spicy, woody perfume. This is for sure more of a unisex choice. This perfume is just magical. It smells of a really prominent mix of nutmeg, of black pepper, especially when you first spray it, and you get a really beautiful woody element from the oud. To me, this smells like a natural oud chip. So not something that is animalistic or resinous, it's just very dry and fresh and woody. You have a little bit of amber as well as some tonka bean for that added sweetness. It's just really beautiful and I would definitely recommend you test this sample, test this sample, test this fragrance out. You can buy some samples on Jovois, maybe even on Lucky Scent. I will put the links down below if you're interested in this perfume. I highly recommend you guys just test it, get yourself a sample. Don't blind buy the scent because it is quite pricey and it is also very unique. Haven't smelled a fragrance like this on the market before, so it could be maybe a little bit different and daring for some of you. So sample this fragrance first. The sillage is just incredibly addictive. I don't even know how to explain it. It is one of those fragrances that are really magnetizing. Skirto is an addictive dark rose. The sillage or scent bubble is what makes this fragrance so incredible. You will get so many compliments with this fragrance. You have a lot of florals within this fragrance. They're fresh and bright, but they're anchored by oud. And again, in this fragrance, the oud isn't pungent or animalistic. It is made in a very fresh and uplifted way, which is quite unique actually within fragrances. So if you're scared of the oud, don't be. It just adds another dimension to this fragrance and probably makes it very alluring and sexy as well. have one great vanilla perfume that you can wear even in the summertime. It is Très Cher by Mise en Cire. So this is a salty vanilla complemented with some orange blossom and sandalwood. Mm, so nice. Think of sun tanning lotion mixed with a really edible vanilla note. If you love your vanilla to sandalwood combinations, and fragrances like Santal Complet by Fragrance du Bois, Très Cher is gonna be right up your alley. Taif by Ormond Jane. Taif smells like dried rose petals, <sighs> blended with some pink pepper as well as amber and that pink pepper is gonna give a little bit of a like fresh greenness to the scent, like fresh spicy greenness, quite unusual. And it's all rounded off by this gorgeous, delicate amber notes. This perfume is incredibly luxurious. It smells expensive and very refined. Taif is warm, but cold at the same time. It gives an impression of transparency, but opulence as well. It is sexy, but not too racy. So what I'm trying to say is it's full of contrast and is really beautiful, versatile fragrance. This is like a solid 
signature daytime scent. Of course, I had to throw in an Hermes fragrance. I personally adore Hermes and they're very good at making signature worthy fragrances. The one that I really enjoy to wear and that I recommend to you ladies is Twilly d'Hermes, a modern soapy tuberose. It smells really, really good. This is divine. It is so incredibly classy, a la Hermes. You're gonna get this really great quality from Hermes in this fragrance and it's made modern because often tuberose can be associated, especially soapy tuberoses, can be associated with more like a grandma style, but not with Tweety d'Hermes. Wanna know why? It's because they added this gorgeous creamy sandalwood in the base and a piquant of ginger. So you're gonna get this like spiciness from ginger, which is so unexpected within a fragrance that has tuberose. At least I haven't smelt the combination before. And it works really well in this perfume. Overall, Tweed d'Hermes is a very chic perfume, I find, but casual at the same time. So easy going, but put together. Gardenia Rattan by Erin. If you haven't tried Erin yet, ladies, and you love floral fragrances, what are you waiting for? You need to get yourself a discovery set of Erin fragrances. The most beautiful feminine florals out there. Just saying. So Gardenia Rattan is based off of Gardenia and some other ultra creamy and luxurious florals. You have some Tiare, there may be some Jasmine in here too, but predominantly Gardenia. And there's some sort of like underlying notes I would say of coconut, like coconut milk, underlying notes of creamy coconut milk. This isn't gonna give you a 100% summer feel, so you're not gonna feel as if you're on a beach all the time. It is so creamy and indulgent that you can very easily wear this in the winter. In fact, I wear it all year round. It's very feminine and floral, and this is like a feel-good feminine fragrance. Pure femininity in a bottle. All right, ladies, so there you have it. 10 signature fragrances for women. Let me know in the comments down below if you know any of these fragrances, if you have these in your collection, or what other perfumes you enjoy to wear on a daily basis. I always like to know. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, spread the fragrant love.